only reason you're not in handcuffs going to jail and getting summonses in the precinct is because I have things to do. Okay. That's the only reason that's not happening. Because this isn't important enough for me. My name is Matthew Cook, and this is a survivor's guide to the police. Surviving a confrontational officer. There are a number of citizens watchdog groups who observe and record police misconduct. Their advice is to always be polite and never engage with a confrontational officer. You disrespected me, this badge, and my department. You understand me? When I'm talking to you, you shut your mouth. Ask, am I being detained or am I free to go? It's just, it's unusual behavior. Is, is what we're I'm assuming I'm being detained. Am I, am I being detained or not? You can go, sir. Thank you. If you're not being detained, then leave immediately. If you are being detained, provide identification very slowly. Can I your license, please? Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Watchdog groups estimate the number of citizens killed by police is over a thousand per year. Once an agitated officer safely has your identification, you're going to want to be very quiet. The police are legally allowed to lie to you, which means they may try to trick you. So when dealing with a confrontational or agitated officer, never answer questions. I'm gonna I don't answer, answer questions. questions. I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions? That's correct. What's the reason for that? I don't answer questions. And if a cop asks if they can check your pockets, look in your car, or come inside your house, do not, under any circumstances, physically resist. But exercise your Fourth Amendment rights and politely say, I do not consent to searches without a warrant. Get a warrant. Would you allow us to check your house? Get a warrant. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Searches can lead to damage to your property that you won't be compensated for. And if a dirty cop conducts a search, they may find something that was never there to begin with. Unfortunately, no matter what you do, you still may end up being searched. You have no right to be in here. Do not touch her. You are assaulting her. Here's the bad news. Even if the search is completely illegal, the US Supreme Court just ruled that as long as the cop's misunderstanding of the law is a reasonable one in the eyes of the court, whatever they find is still gonna be admissible. That means that ignorance of the law is an excuse, but only if you're a police officer. The most important lesson of today is this. If you do find yourself detained or arrested by an agitated or aggressive police officer, don't say anything. Just politely ask for an attorney. If you wanna keep that cocky attitude up, you wanna say to me, you wanna to talk to the lawyer and all this shit. No matter how intimidating they get, be silent and politely request an attorney. I hope you can afford a good one.